Okay, here we are at uh, the London Hack Space at Kramer Street Business Centre, yep. units 23 and 24. And uh, this chap is going to give us a quick tour. Okay. What's your name, Mick? Will. Will. Hi, Will. Hi. Thanks. For... No worries. Um, over here we have the laser cutter, which is uh, usually a bit of carrying attention, but it's currently on the line. It's probably made lots and lots of bits of pieces around the place. What? Well, um, how's um, How big's the biggest thing it can cut, sort of stuff? I think it's 30 centimetres by 50, something like that. Okay, so it's quite small. 32 but by 55. Yeah. 32 by well, 55. 30, 30, 31 by 55 is the biggest we managed so far. Yeah. Centimetres. Yep, centimetres. Great. Uh, up to about 6 mil per specs. And I've actually done 10 mil per oh, specs. Yeah. But 10 mil per specs. And what about wood? Stretch. Wood, it's. I, think, I don't know if it's tried 6 mil. Yeah, 6 mil's pushing it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and that's sort of when it's working well. It's currently, we think it might need a new uh, tube. And uh, uh, does anyone know the latest on this laser saw, open source uh, laser no, cutter I haven't project? No, really heard anything about it. It's, it's the Kickstarter thing, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. They tried to raise ten thousand dollars and they raised twenty or something. Yeah. And they know. said about a year, hopefully, okay. they'd have a kit. Yeah, I don't know anything about that, I'm afraid, just because. Okay. I haven't. I'm not part of the. I haven't been right. Yeah. Before. I wonder how because my. I might be living in cloud cookie land, but one of my plans is to make flat pack beehives. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. In which case, I'd say your biggest problem is going to be size of the bits. From what I recall, of seeing beehives, it's going to be the 31 centimetre width maximum. To yeah. Catch, to catch you up unless you can yeah. do something clever with interlocking bits. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Are there, are there like bigger models? Yeah. Well, well I like guess everything so. in life is. Yeah, this, if you pay enough money, you can get anything you want. I mean, this is the cheap. Yeah. Right. It's, okay. It's like it's like uh, the maker bike. I mean, they got the machines where it will sinter um, marriaging steel powder to produce large lumps of marriaging steel. Yeah. Which are mach and then you, which are basically uh, aerospace. Yeah, I range. saw some video online of some guy who makes model villages. Yeah. With like concrete 3D printing, well, and NASA are trying to get him to scale it up to make well, it was, buildings. I was online, talking to a guy the other day about um, basically he works for an aerospace company that's building components for. Um, aircraft, and they're using the titanium version of this. It's basically powdered titanium. Okay. You build the items, you center them. And Anything is possible these days, isn't it? Out. It's so crazy. That, that's yeah. like the crazy yeah. maker end. I mean, yeah. you can get you can get lasers that'll cut, you know, twenty mil of steel. No right. Problem. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So I'll just anodise aluminium, but that's it. Cool, well I'll have to have a look around for where I can cut big bits of board. I mean, I imagine that IKEA have probably got such a machine. Uh, there's a local <laughs> uh, place where we get some of our perspex called Hammer. Yeah. That might be useful. They, they, they do up to 25 mil as standard. Yeah. Well, do you know what size beds they've got? I asked them like, something on the lines of 3 metres by 1.5 metres. Okay, so but that's quite big. They bigger stuff as well because they've done floor to ceiling window <coughs> things for shops you know, big where shops. is that that's Haymar up on near Bethnal Green yeah. Haymar how do you spell Haymar H-A-M-A-R yeah if you go along there you, I doubt they'll let you in the workshop no it's but the industrial facility you can get the big stuff done there but yeah it would be, be nice, probably not very nice to film that just sort of the contrast yeah. of this is, now this is the real thing yeah. cool yeah I'll, I'll go and uh, ask them this is the toy that's the real thing <laughs> Haymar I'll check it out um, it is uh uh, member storage, everyone gets a box. Great. This is random electronics sort of resistors and power supply and, yes, and all kinds of stuff that might be useful. Yes, really That's a work in progress uh, trebuchet with added bike. Uh, this thing, what's a trebuchet? A trebuchet. Uh, it's a trebuchet. It's an ancient um, catapult. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's actually our project as well. Yeah. That's, um, yeah, we had a, a miniature one. There's one, it's over there. Okay. Cool, uh, let's carry on going around um, here. Yep, yeah, this is the kind of lobby area with monitors and oscilloscopes for your electronic products, signal generators and all that kind of stuff. Um, that would be puzzle bobble if it was working, but it's not currently. I'm not quite sure, I don't think it is. So that's a touch screen that someone's working on, but I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. In here we've got a, a quiet room. Uh, it's going to be sort of, we're going to cut, get some carpet down and um, get uh, projectors in here and that kind of thing so we can do uh, presentations and stuff. Cool. Um, 
Uh, we've got seating area and um, uh, kitchen. One of them. Kitchenette area. Excellent. Um, yes, coffee. Do not hack the microwave. And that kind of <laughs> <laughs> um, I got distracted by writing a script to do all this. It's easy next time. Um, this is the MakerBot. Um, so this is like the commercial version of RepRap, right? Yeah. Have I mean, you got a RepRap here as well? No, people are building one. We've got printouts over here, but no one's actually got around. Well, I'm not quite sure what they were, what they're waiting on. Right, okay. Um, so my, my most popular video to date is an interview with David Bowyer. Okay. I think yeah. he's coming here at some point. Is it tomorrow? After a, a, a talk he's doing. You might be interested. Oh, you're going, aren't you? So, uh, no, I didn't know about the talk. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a talk tomorrow morning about nine by him about stuff. I haven't, I don't know. Oh. No, what I mean is, you're not going to be here, so you can't go. Right, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is a soldier station, um, which is, yes, not been tidied, but and various uh, sizes of wire, uh, etc. Yeah. Uh, that was just all bodged up from bits of metal that we kind of had. With. Bits of wood, so yeah, we're, we're, uh, this is the monorail, which is um, uh, currently in work in progress. So you can see the, the cars the, the over there. Little mini train. Uh, there's all sorts of kind of different ideas for that. Um, uh, Great, so um, what's the website? Uh, London.hackspace.org. Org.uk? Yeah, I think that's right. Or the .org or something. Google London Hackspace. Yeah, you'll find it. And yeah. am I right in thinking membership is 30 quid a month or something? It's sort of £5 to £50, depending on how much you can afford. Okay, right. So I think the average is about 25 ish so. Right. Yeah. Great, well thanks very much All for right. the tour, Will. Okay. Cheers. Bye.